How's it going so far? It's doing great. Reveal more awesome There's stuff. There's still a little bit more to show you in today's Ooh. Nintendo Direct, so we hope you'll stick with us. Yes, I will. Next, please take a look at this. As soon as you do that, my stuff glitches out. <gasps> Legend of Zelda! Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend Hi, of Eiji. Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Don't toy with us. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to Fuck share right you. now. Fuck you. We apologize. Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Okay, good, good. For now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Okay, at least you're polite about it. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Okay, Skyward Sword. What did I just guess it was right? Yep, I was just guessing. <laughs> That's good. I really wanted to play this game. It was like on the Wii and I never got a chance to play it. I heard good things about it. Yeah. Was it a collection? Or just Skyward Sword? Go, Link, go! Climb Z Mountain. <laughs> Remember the bow thing in E3? It was like one of the, like, frankly, banned. I missed Twilight Princess, so that's why I want to play this one. Skyward Sword HD. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This Thanks game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, Don't make me and now feel it's old. coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword. Yeah, I remember when you sold like a sword, a sword thing with the to increased go with it. processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Oh, great. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Okay. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure oh, it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling oh, over only how to assign mode. different cool. gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. That was upwards. To swing to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just tilt the stick in the respective direction. Okay. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controller. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. The right Joy-Con controller I'll get that over the Pro the controller because I need Master some more Joy-Cons. While the left features a Hylian shield motif. Mm -hmm. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, as the game depicting the earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline, details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. Oh, okay, didn't know that. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. I would. The 16th, Zelda okay. Skyward Sword HD launches I'll July watch that date to get the Joy-Cons because it'll be sold quickly. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And okay. the specially designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. Many mm -hmm. of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was mm -hmm. still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, yeah. a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear, I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Hey, say you're a fan from Smash. The birdies! Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. If E3 goes as planned, I'm expecting 